Managing data today is a very labor-intensive process. Data is extracted from individual systems and then merged. From there, bad values and outliers are removed and any required transformations are completed. Once those tasks are complete, the required analysis is performed. The findings are discussed and an action plan is formed. The elapsed time for this workflow is hours, not days. Our big data problem is, it's, I think, very different. We've been collecting rich process data for you know, a number of decades. Um, I think the challenge now is to harness them together um, into a you know, business decision framework. The whole point is that you, you want to link business decision making with operational decision making, bring those two domains together. As we've evolved, both our interfaces, uh, you know, in the EBS layer to the business systems interfaces have become easier to access, easier to understand. I think one of the other challenges with respect to MES is that a lot of these systems were deployed in the 90s and, you know, the, the architectural requirements were very different. The level of collaboration that we're doing today, the speed at which we're required to make, make decisions uh, means that you know, the, the transaction rates and you know, data flow volumes is markedly higher than it was when these systems were first deployed. I mean, there's, there's, I don't think any other company is even close to having the, the wide variety of things we can combine and, and, you know, have. Basically what's happening is you're giving context to the data, right? And you're providing first principles about that context, right, with your models and whatnot. So, um, so it's just inherently giving us a better way to analyze the data that no one else could possibly do.